tiny home is a home that is under 400 square feet. So, yeah, this is definitely it. It's always been my dream to live in a tiny house. I saw the documentary Minimalism when I was 17, and I started to realize that you could live in a way that was different and that we don't necessarily need all of these things that the American dream tells us that we need. Getting a bigger house or a better car and just always trying to accumulate possessions that are a reflection of who we want people to think that we are, but really we just bought those things and it has nothing to do with who we are at all and we should be focusing on relationships. And here is the living room. Yeah, I like shoes a lot. I've been into sneakers pretty much my entire life. This is the kitchen area, and then over here is what I call the office. And then in here we have the bathroom and my loft. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite part of the house. I feel like I was always meant to live in a small place. Everything feels like it's the right size for me. I'm 5'3", and the world is built for like a 5'10", person and I think that the push is coming from the younger generation especially just um, the with the way the economy is and affordability of having your own space um, living in a tiny home makes it so attainable and affordable to do so it really does there's 25 houses here at tiny house blog some of them are individually owned, a few of them are, but then most of them belong to the community. John and Melissa Block started Tiny House Block because they saw the need for and the demand for a place that is safe and legal to park a tiny home. We have ones as small as number one over there. I know hikers really love that one. We get a lot of hikers visiting us here. It's just such a beautiful place. Over here is actually number eight, the flower fun house that I'm gonna be cleaning today. Well, I'm lucky enough to actually be able to work on site at Tiny House Block and my main job here is cleaning our short-term rentals that we have on Airbnb for the guests when they check in and check out. I do housekeeping and then I also do the social media and I'm responsible for the newsletter. Erica moved in around the same time as me and it's been so great having her here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How's you. my little Iggy? Lovely as always. This is my house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not my house. I'm renting it. <laughs> I'm working internet based. So as long as I can tap into the internet, we're all good. So with COVID, since the kids were able to be remote, we could go really wherever we wanted to go. And I found this tiny home community, which is something that's always been intriguing to me. Definitely within like my budget. <laughs> There were some challenges, like they've had to learn to adjust to a different lifestyle, for sure. And so like you start to go within yourself, I think, for your basic needs, like to keep yourself company, to keep your imagination going, um, and just to be able to appreciate the people that are around you. I just feel like everything's okay. Definitely. It's actually possible to live a lifestyle like that where you're free from all those things that burden you, all those materialistic things that we are trying to keep up maintaining there's a liberation that comes in not having to maintain all of that. I got rid of everything before I oh, moved here. Oh, how awesome is that? Yeah. I have a blender and a coffee pot and that's yeah, it. For and sure. the microwave. Yeah. I just think it's so insane like how we can do so much with With less. so little, yeah. yeah. And it's actually really fulfilling to do that as well. 
Yeah. We're mountain people just, now. We're mountain people now. <laughs> like, the theme. Hey, Natalie, what are you doing? <laughs> come, sit, oh, come sit with us. Come see me and Bodie. How was your weekend? It was good. We went out for sushi and we played Mario Kart. Yeah, no, it's been a good thing coming up here. You know, it, it's interesting because we're all kind of quiet people, but we all like at night, Lionel likes to have fires at mm -hmm. night. So then you look out and there'll be people sitting out there having a fire and doing sh shots. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, it was difficult to get a loan to buy a condo because I retired. So I got turned down by five loan people. And I go, that's it. I go, I'm gonna go and buy me my tiny home, pay for it, still make money because I was gonna put more down than that. And I go, and then it's mine. And so this is kind of, I think, could be like my final place to live, you know, just stay here till I'm too old to climb the loft, <laughs> the stairs. And you have this little TV here, I this know. Roku TV. I watch movies, a lot of movies, so. Taco filling, and now I just need to make the beans. Oh. Try your potatoes. You don't need to be here. Well, I'm full. Yeah, me too. I've eaten a lot today. I actually just oh, yeah. so true. Yeah. I will say that you have brought like such a dynamic of community. <laughs> oh, here. Well, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> like the first time you knocked on my door with like Julian apple pie, and then like, oh, so yeah. just went from there, just like, just definitely like encourages that sense of community. Yeah. I feel like I'm my best self when I'm very connected to nature and the community and being here at Tiny House Block gives me both of those things every single day. Oh,